12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Good girl. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Smells good. Yeah. Hey, guys. Today is January 22nd, 2014, and I'm going to take you on a hydroponic planting adventure. We've got some pop choy right here, about 10 days old. I like to keep them in uh, these uh, flats here underneath the light for about two weeks before I put them in the reservoir. What that does is it gets it big enough to uh, have the roots coming out the bottom of the rock wool cubes here. I don't know if we can lift this up and tell. You see some of the roots? coming out down there you pretty much want roots coming out before you put it in the reservoir or you really, really won't grow that fast because the roots won't be touching the uh, nutrient solution that much so as long as you got roots coming out the bottom and they're actually touching the water or getting the mist off the, the bubbles or whatever then they'll uh, take off and grow really fast but right here I've got some pak choy it's like a Chinese cabbage or whatnot. I just like the way it looks. I've never tasted it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste these, of course. But uh, I just like the way they grow. They look really neat. And over here beside the pak choy, we've got some Caesar lettuce. And uh, it's probably about time for it to go in the uh, reservoir. All right, guys, I'm going to stand back here a little bit and show you what I'm going to be doing. But um, I'm going to plant my pak choy in that tote. And over beside it, I'm going to plant my lettuce over there. And uh, I'm going to plant them today. So they'll be planted both at the same time. So we can see, you know, which one grows the fastest or whatnot. They're both going to have the same nutrients. And everything's going to be the same. So we'll see which one grows faster we'll do like a little comparison thing so all right here i've got my pak choy and i've got my little stir stick that i don't use for anything else but my hydroponics and i've got my clay pebbles or hydrotin that you can use this is very good stuff i don't use nothing but that i've got the only two nutrient solutions that i use is flora grow and flora micro and I've got my three inch net pots. Uh oh, that's big enough for uh, what I'm planting, which is uh, lettuce varieties. And I've got my little measuring cup, which is a, uh, I think it come from a NyQuil bottle. It's got uh, 15 milliliters and 30 milliliters on it. And uh, I'll show you that in a minute when I mix my solutions. I use about 30 millimeters for uh, 25 gallons of water. So I'll show you that in a minute. And for my tote here, I've already filled it up with water. I've done that probably about a week ago, just so all the ammonia and stuff can uh, get out of it. I use regular tap water um, out of the hose outside. So um, it seems to work for me the last couple of times. So um, I, don't, I don't worry about using... Uh, water from the store or anything like that or I just use regular tap water so uh, I've got my three inch air stone at the bottom all right guys first I'm gonna mix some flora micro into my reservoir here and it's a uh, 501 and uh, show you a little bit what it has in it. it's got like 5% calcium in it so I'm not gonna buy any calcium to add all right, and if you turn your bottle around here, it says for cuttings and seedlings, do a quarter teaspoon a gallon. So what you do in this case is you get a calculator, you punch in 0.25 times however many gallons you have. In this case, I got about 25 gallons. So that comes up to be 6.25 teaspoons so if you look down here it says one teaspoon is five milliliters so you just take five times 6.25 and you have 
have about 30 milliliters. So that's how I come up with that. And if you're only using 10 gallons, it'll be about 10 and a half milliliters. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. All right, here comes the floor micro. There we go. Pour it? Yep, pour it in. Pour it all in. Micro. There you go. Looks good, don't it? Stir it up. Okay. Stir it up real good. Like you're baking a, some uh, cupcakes. <laughs> And now for the floor grow. Got my hand. It's okay. We'll wash them in a minute. There you go. Now stir that baby up. There you go. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to place these uh, rock wool cubes with my pop choy. We're going to set them down in these uh, three inch neck cups here. And uh, I'm going to put some uh, clay bubbles in there. Thank you, baby. I'm going to go ahead and set it in here like so. You're doing a good job. Sure it's centered. Yeah, there you go. Alright guys, here is the finished product of our pop choy. 17 plants in nutrient solution. And I forgot to mention something. I, I put the uh, water level up right up to the bottom of the net pot. So the water is actually touching the bottom of the net pot. That'll uh, that'll let the water get to the uh, rock wool cubes real, real easy. And as the roots start growing, they'll they'll grow into the nutrient solution, which um, probably in a few weeks the water level will, will drop also. So uh, last thing to do is plug up the aerator. Alrighty guys, the aerator is going. Let's see if you can tell. Oh yeah. Air stone is going in there and uh, hopefully in a few days we'll start showing signs of some good growth. Alright, next is the lettuce. See y'all in a little bit. Alright guys, over here on my next reservoir, we're going to plant some uh, Caesar lettuce here. And uh, hopefully it'll do good. They're not really looking that good right now, but hopefully I can stand them up. And uh, as soon as they hit the nutrient solution, that they'll uh, take off and start growing real good. But uh, same concept here. Got the tote with approximately 25 gallons or so in there. And uh, my two air stones are hooked together by that uh, aerator there. And... Uh, so the other ones are going so this one's going so now we're going to put the nutrients in the water so same as last time you ready mm -hmm. yeah my hand sorry baby pour it in there you go we'll, we'll wash your hands and the floor grow, which is 216. 216. There we go, 30 milliliters. Good job. Now stir that baby up. Like you're baking a cake. You are just a natural girl. I didn't even teach you how to do all that. Did you learn by yourself? Huh? Yes. Wow. You are going to be a smart gardener.
Alright guys, finally through putting the clay pebbles in. This, this one took a little longer than my pock choy because uh, a lot of these seedlings were uh, falling over like this one and I was trying to I was trying to stack a clay pebble behind it to keep it keep it standing up just in in case it kind of help it out a little bit but uh, but overall I hope everything takes off and grows I got a few uh, that one's real real tiny this one's real tiny and uh, that one's real tiny so hopefully they'll get some of that nutrients and uh, take off and start growing so cross your fingers all right guys big recap here two 27 gallon totes one's got pak choy the other one's got caesar lettuce in it i've got two four foot four tube sun blaze grow lights and uh, in the middle, I've got a, uh, I think it's called Whisper 2000 or something like that. And I think I got it at Walmart. But uh, I've got one three inch air stone in each tote. And probably in about two weeks, I will add more nutrient solution to the totes. I don't do a full uh, water swap because that's a lot of water to be dumping out and putting back in so what I'll do is I'll just uh, mix up uh, the recommended dose of nutrient solution and I'll just add it to the totes uh, I did that last time it seemed to work fine so I'll do it again um, what else uh, my lights are on a timer for I believe about 14 hours a day all right guys I'll do an update in the next couple of weeks just to show you all the uh, progress of uh, how everything's growing but uh i'll see you then cross your fingers wish me luck thanks for watching bye